end of federalism is one lawsuit. But that's where we are. If the federal government can order you to buy Nancy-approved health insurance, they can order you to buy anything. And then, not only have we eliminated a government of enumerated powers, we no longer have the compound republic we call federalism. States no longer matter. And that is one of the goals of this administration in Congress. And in Virginia, where it all began, we're going to fight it until it ends. When I took my oath of office, I swore to uphold the Constitution of the United States and protect it including from our own federal government, and that's what we're doing in this lawsuit. You know, in 1774, at the First Continental Congress, they all signed on to a document that said they cheerfully acknowledged Parliament's right to regulate their commerce. Cheerfully acknowledged. And in the same document, they all committed to boycotting British goods. Well, cross the Atlantic and King George III wasn't real happy. And the Parliament wasn't real happy. And they called in their lawyers. Yes, right there, their lawyers. The Solicitor General. And the Solicitor General told the King the colonists are well advised legally. They have come up to the line and stayed within the law. And Parliament wanted to punish the colonists for that. But they couldn't compel them to buy British products. King George III and the Parliament of Great Britain that we rebelled against respected the liberty of the colonists of America more than the Congress and the President of the United States of America. I hope in about a year and a half to come to a building about two blocks that way and restore the balance of power between the states and the federal government and to kill the health care bill dead. And in doing so, fulfilling the role of states foreseen by our founding fathers to check the power of the federal government. Your state's attorney general is your last line of defense in protecting the Constitution against the federal government. And it may be the last line of defense, but I've got news for you. It's not a quiet one. We're not asleep on the watch. And we're going to fight until we've got our Constitution back and we've knocked the federal government back inside the boundaries of that sacred document. Now, this isn't the only fight that we have with the federal government at the moment, but it's the one I'll talk to you about today. And I'd rather not be fighting with my own government, but I recognize my role as Attorney General. I will uphold the oath I swore, and we will fight my own government as long as we have to through these courts and in the, in the ballot boxes on November 2nd, as long as we have to, to restore the Founders' vision and to apply it now in the 21st century. Thank you all very much. God bless you, and God bless America.